Hey, it's Ragtar, and I'm not wasting any time today. I'm flying straight into the Honey Hive Galaxy. I am giving absolutely no shits and jumping straight into this bad boy motherfucker. Getting ready to rock and roll trouble on the tower, which is presumably going to be a boss. I think that almost every single level, maybe not. Oh, it's going to be a Wiggler boss. Of course, it's going to be Wizzle Wiggler. Actually, they're not called. There is a name. I don't think that these beasts are called Wigglers, but I... There's one in a certain game that is named Wiggler, and so I always call them Wiggler, but maybe I shouldn't, like, maybe that's, like, racist. Oh, crap. I thought I had that. Maybe it's, like, racist to say that they should always be called Wigglers. So, oh, hey. As, so, as I was thinking about playing this game today, it sort of crossed my mind. Oh, okay, I was like, oh, my God, I'm gonna die. It sort of crossed my mind as I was getting ready to play this game today that maybe I should ask a certain question to anybody who has decided that they're going to be viewing this series. Um, so if you are somebody who happens to have chosen this as one of the series on my channel that you're going to be watching, I figured I would get the opinion of the viewers. So it crossed my mind, I am, am, was gonna just go through, like I said in a previous level, damn, I'm dying already. Like I said in a previous video, I was like, I'm gonna basically go through and sort of just do every star that I can in every level as the star comes. But I was, then I was like, I don't know, maybe for viewers, maybe it's not, oh, there's an extra life down there. Maybe for viewers, it's not as cool to watch me do the same level like three times in a row sometimes, or like whatever. So I thought I would ask if, and, and this is just purely speculation, if people don't care, then they don't care. If they do care, then they do care, and you can say so. I was thinking about maybe varying, like doing different levels every star, and then that way, I'm not just showing like the same chunk of stars over and over again. So I don't know. Leave a leave your opinion in the comments. I'm gonna kill this wiggler because I'm a dick. Oh, it dies really fast. Great. But yeah. So leave your opinion in the comments if you would like to. If you would enjoy seeing sort of a I don't know more of a variety in these levels, then just say so in the comments. But if you also don't mind, if you like just the way it is right now, where I sort of just do the level that I'm doing. All willy-nilly, no questions asked, then say that too, and then I'll know whether people would be interested in seeing me sort of very... I didn't read that sign. I didn't read that sign! But yeah, and then I'll know whether people would be interested in me varying... Oh, wait. Oh, we just... <sighs> fuck this... Fuck this shit. They're just telling me about wall... them wall jumps. Guess what? I'm already fucking, uh... A wall jump pro. Apparently I'm not a sliding jump pro, though, right? Wall jumps are pretty much a fucking staple of all 3D Mario games. I love wall jumping. What's interesting about wall jumping, though, and 3D Mario games, because I said 3D Mario games specifically, is that I think that... I don't know if there's a single 2D Mario game that has wall jumping. Like, there might be, but if there is, I am not sure of it. But I know for a fact that there's a lot of uh, Super Mario World hacks that adds wall jumping because people love it so much. So people are like, dude, I think wall jumping is totally awesome and Mario should have it in all games. So I'm going to just like have it all over the place, good times, willy nilly, and they do it and it's cool. And I don't know, wall jumping is pretty sweet. But anyways, I was going to point out as I got onto here, here is probably one of the things that just like makes my, makes my dick hard about this game. One of the reasons I love Mario games Speaking of, I'm standing on something shaped like a dick. No, I'm just kidding. But it makes kind of is. But that's immature of me. So, anyways, uh, I was I was gonna say I love all these like ridiculously shaped planets, and I think that as game designers, you had to do something rather impressive with these ridiculously shaped planets, and that is you had to make motion seem intuitive on like these really, really strangely. Let's see if that's a star before I go all crazy. It is. Okay. I almost did it again where I had the chance to kill a bunch of dudes and I missed it because I didn't realize that a star was available to me. Are there any more? I guess just Wiggler is left. Is that it? Anybody else want to die at the hands? Can I not jump on this? I guess not. Nobody else wants to die at the hands of Rakdar. I'm probably wasting my star by not going into this tube pipe, whatever it is. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy fall. Oh yeah, but anyways, I always marvel at the fact that 
the designers of this game had a very important job to do, a job that not a lot of people like feel like think about. And that is, like I was saying, oh, Mandabugs. Those are the invaders, it's not the Wigglers. Even though the poor Wigglers, who were just nice dudes with smiles, let's see, oh, that's just a spring in case you fall, okay. But, dude, the poor Wigglers, who always, like, they're always smiling and always seem very friendly, I guess had to die at my hands because I'm a horrible person. I do feel a little bit terrible about that. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh, that was terrifying. Also, these guys have a little target on their back. It's once again one of those things where I really like that Nintendo, they, uh, this is where I would s highlight the concept of good game design. Because the Mandabugs happen to have those little targets on their backs, and the, uh, the designers have already required you to, um, to jump on things that have the targets, so now you're sort of, like, used to the idea that those targets mean jump and do a ground pound, and I always felt that it seems like such a basic thing, but in reality, it is sort of actually, um, some pretty good and complex game design to have something like that, because it is sort of this idea where... Poop, I need a... I need to think. But yeah, it is sort of this idea where it makes it so when you get to the enemy, nobody has to sit there and tell you to ground pound the enemy. It's just like intuitive. And by the way, I've ground pounded this thing like 20 million times. Also, you know, you gotta feel a little bit bad for these uh, Manda bugs because realistically, uh, I, like they may have invaded this place, but really, they're really like sentient beings. Like it got mad when it saw me kill its child. Like, I don't know if Mario can really justify killing a creature that gets angry when you kill its child. Because when you think about that, that means that they have sentience, they have a sense of self that, you know, they can see themselves in their young. Which means, this, basically, Mario's a horrible person. That's actually one thing that I really like about, um, Elder Scrolls Online, which is a game I played recently, was that in Elder Scrolls Online there was always this thing where um, as you went through the game, all right, Honey Hive Galaxy, one more star to go. As you went through the game, you always had like the choice to, if there were two tribes fighting, you know, your first instinct, you come in, and the tribe that you're already basically friendly with is like, oh, this tribe invaded us, and so now you have to kill them for us. But then you talk to like somebody from the other tribe, and they're like, no, dude, like fucking they invaded us, and so it was always really cool because. You know, you're always under the assumption that, like, yes. one tribe was wronging the other tribe, but then it was sort of like, who is really wronging who, friends, has infested our kingdom? See? And now we're... And now the question must be asked again. Who is really wronging who? We got all these Mandabugs. Obviously, they got here somehow. Like, they must have... They must have worked very hard to get here in the first place. And yet here I am just assuming that because this bee dude, who I've already been friends with previously, has telling me that I gotta do this, it's like, oh, well, the bee dude who you're already friends with... By the way, what is... Okay, it's just a coin flower, but yeah. So just because we're being told by this bee dude that uh, the Mandabugs are evil, I'm just, like, assuming that they're right. That probably makes me a horrible person. The neighbors are causing trouble. Okay, see that... That actually makes it a little better, is they're saying that the Mandabugs are their neighbors, but then if that's the case, they're like, if my neighbor was over at my house, I don't think I would just kill my neighbor. I'm just saying. I'm All I'm trying to say here is Mario is a horrible person, and all the other bees are actual horrible people. Or beeple, as I believe the term goes for bee people, right? You call them like... Because you don't want to dehumanize them and say that bees aren't people. I mean, they're clearly sentient beings in the Mario world. But at the same time, you gotta make sure that you know you're talking about a bee person and not... Dude, actually, you know, realistically, that's racist. You gotta to say that you have to know that you're talking about a bee person instead of, like, a normal person. Alright, when this guy comes under me, we're gonna kick his ass! Actually, realistically, I'm kicking his back and not his ass at all. I remember this boss, to be 100% honest, I remember there sort of being... Oh, yeah. I was like, I remember there being a slight challenging aspect to this boss. And now that I remember it, this is the slightly challenging aspect. The fact that 
this bee is flying back, or this mandabug, this freaking giant mandabug is flying back and forth, yep. Oh shit! And he's making busy bombs flow all over your butthole. Alright, this is it. Oh crap! He does not stay under you for very long. Alright, this is gonna be the one, I swear. No more effing around. Okay, apparently more effing around. We gotta stay on this thing. Seriously! How does this mandabug avoid me so well and it does by not even doing anything? These mandabugs are jerks! And by these mandabugs I mean this one boss mandabug who apparently is amazing at avoiding me without even doing anything, just flying back and forth. Alright, now what is red? Dude! I didn't even realize that the bombs- I thought the bombs were coming out of the tree, I didn't realize they were coming out of his little boot hole there. Alright, oh, so when he gets close to you, so he goes back and forth from shooting bombs to doing whatever, well, I'm not too worried. As long as he passes here once with his back down, we're good. Oh no, he's- does he automatically turn up? Oh, shit. Alright, damn it, Mandabug, get back here. We need- we need to murder you. You and I have to have a talk. My- my bee stinger butt has to have a talk with your back, and the talk is not about, uh, oh shit. Maybe you're supposed to use one of these. Alright, this is it? No, what the fuck? You know, I should be able to just like, technically I should be able to just use the shadow, but for some reason I seem to be failing miserably, like, conceptually, that's probably the idea is like, oh, you can see where Mario is. By looking at the shadow, but because I'm so stupid, oh, this is it. Damn it! I'm like way too high in the air. I shouldn't be using these because they put me like ridiculous. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna die like this. This is not the way the Mario goes. Okay, I figured I'd stop wasting y'all's time by showing me. It probably took me like six more tries at just doing that, so that is why, in case you're wondering why I did the cut right there. It's because I was feeling a little bit guilty about showing all those failed tries on camera, I was like, dude, I can only show so many fucking shots of me failing this before it's just like, Ragtar, why do you suck so badly at this game? And I mean that in a sense of both the viewer asking me that, and myself asking me, Ragtar, why do you suck so much at this goddamn game? Oh, hey! A hungry Luma has appeared! We're gonna- I was gonna go to the next area, but instead... Instead of going to the next area, I believe that we should go check out our first Hungry Luma. I've been quite excited to show off a Hungry Luma. Hopefully it only takes 500 Tasty Star Bits, maybe even less. It's the first one of the- 400! Alright, cool. Here we go. Time to fucking fill this guy up till he explodes and fills his dreams of becoming a real live planet or whatever. No, he, he's gonna become a launch star. Oh no, he's gonna become a planet! And now there's gonna be a launch star that goes to this Hungry Luma. I'm so excited. It's the Sweet Sweet Galaxy! I love the Sweet Sweet Galaxy. Alright, here we go. This is our very first time heading off to one of the Hungry Luma galaxies. There's, I think there's three or four or five in the game. I'm gonna say it's between three and five. Maybe only three. I actually remember getting my ass handed to me royally in this galaxy, so... B don't be surprised if this turns out- oh, and it's got awesome music, too. Cool. So yeah, don't be surprised if this turns out to be the first galaxy that is riddled with my death. Because I personally would not be surprised if this galaxy decided to be riddled with good old-fashioned Rakdar death, so... I- I'm gonna hope that it's not, but for some weird reason, I specifically remember that when I originally played this galaxy, Many moons ago, and by many moons I mean really just when I was in college, so probably four or five years ago, whatever. Whenever I played this galaxy, it sucked. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm halfway there now, I think. What? Don't stop! And what's this guy saying? I can't go any- okay. Yep. Oh no, this. I remember this being the thing maybe that troubled me, or possibly this thing isn't even- Maybe I'm just like crazy. Maybe some type of craziness is causing me to remember something that killed me a lot, and there's actually nothing. Cause, like, now that I'm actually doing this, it doesn't seem to be so bad. It's just a bunch of shape holes in the ground. Maybe what I'm actually remembering, it could be the case that I'm remembering a specifically challenging star from, uh... It could be the actual case that I'm remembering a star from Super Mario Galaxy 2 that 
takes place on a similar level that I got my ass handed to me on. Because, like, this doesn't actually seem as bad as... Oh, here, here it happens. Here's... Dude, see, now... Now the truth is coming. The law, I feel like, is going to be laid down by whatever this area is. Because I remember dying and having to collect that extra life multiple times. Or... Maybe not. You know what? Fuck it. I'm sorry I spent this whole level talking about... Hey! It's those It's the guys with the spaceship! I would like to apologize for spending this whole level about how I was gonna suck at this level, and then I did pretty damn okay. I don't know why I remember that level being as challenging as I did, but congratulations me for getting that stuff done. Oh, I wonder if Rosalina, usually when it puts you back here, oh no, it just puts you back here because you did one, you did a thing, oh, how could I have discovered a new, oh, okay. So yeah, by the way, galaxies get unlocked. The more, the more and more that you get stars, different galaxies will get unlocked. What's funny about the way that I'm playing through this game right now, and it was the way when I played this through this game originally, you'll probably notice that a shit ton of galaxies are gonna be unlocked before I even, like, leave the second zone. Because I, like, you know, I'm a completionist in these games. So wait, um, I think... So we got these two galaxies, we can already go to the Bowser galaxy, but... I think that these galaxies might end up being ones that I can just fill up a couple... A couple minutes in. Yeah, let's do the Flip Switch Galaxy. I was like, I got a few more minutes of video that I'd like to make. So we'll, we'll run to a galaxy that maybe has a lot less going on. And that galaxy is going to be the Flip Switch Galaxy, because I think the Flip Switch Galaxy only has a very short star in it. So yeah, all the question mark block galaxies from what I, if I remember correctly, they're usually like one-off, like one-off type galaxies, where they just kind of have like one individual concept in them, and not a lot going on, except for the fact that it has enough going on to damage me right off the bat. Who, can I, can I murder this guy? Nope, it just, I can temporarily incapacitate it, but I can't murder it, so I guess I have to be very careful. In fact, I gotta be very careful, because also, this thing is going to attempt to murder me. Okay, that's how it, I'm like, we gotta... Oh, it show. I'm so stupid. You can see the pattern of the... Oh, no! I understand now. Now I have totally... I have totes fucked myself now because, um... I've made myself stuck. Oh, no! Dude, how did I not think the Flip Switch Galaxy was gonna be more challenging? I was... I was talking about the other galaxy. Uh, the sweet, sweet Candy Road Galaxy and how challenging that was going to be. And then it turns out that the bane of me is actually the Flip Switch Galaxy, but I think that my initial mistake has now uh, been rectified, and that is I didn't go this direction first. Yeah, see this? If you go this way first, you can tote some goats, just kind of like run through this shit, easy peasy, Lemon squeezy Japanesey will incapacitate that guy to make the rest of my life sexy. Yep, and now this galaxy is going to be super easy mode. Oh, except for this enemy is still here. And here we go! Completion, I believe. Hopefully, maybe that green guy will stop being a dick. Or it will. Is this one of those cases where you can... Is that thing stopped? Okay, it is. I was like, can you die after unlocking the star here? That'd actually be pretty funny. Like, I would... Oh, I failed miserably. There we go. Get the star. Boom. Headshot. Got another- got one more galaxy knocked out before the end of the video. That's what I'd like to see. I think that with that, I'm going to end this episode right here. And in the next episode, I will continue- I will probably get to the Bowser- Uh, I will probably get to the Bowser galaxy here. And have to rock the world of either Bowser or Bowser Jr. So be ready for that. This has been Rektar. Thank you for watching.